In our previous videos, we exported Revit model of a 10 stories building to eTabs and robot structural analysis software. Link to download Revit. eTabs and robot structural analysis model is attached in the description below. In this video, we will compare results of both softwares. After pressing calculations, we will right click on screen and click on tables, click on reactions and press OK. Now we will click on reactions on bottom left side of the screen. At the end of the table, we can see some of the reactions in each load case. In dead load case, total base reaction is 13,750 to kip. In eTabs, we had base reaction of 13,726 kips in dead load case. In superimposed dead load case, we have base reaction of 4,393 kips. In eTabs, we have same value. Similarly, we have base reaction of 3,163 kips in live load case. In robot, we have the same value in live load case. To reduce the difference in self-weight load cases, in both software, we will make some changes in eTabs model. First of all, we will unlock eTabs model. Now we will select all the beams. Go to Select tab, then select Properties and then Frame Sections. Select Theme Sections. Now go to Assign tab, then Frame and then End Length Offset. Here we will change option to Weight based on Full Length. Now we will run Analysis. Now we will go to tables, then open analysis, then results, then reactions, and then base reactions. Now we can see self-weight dead load base reaction is 13,726 kips, which is close to value in robot. Now let's check base reaction in seismic load cases. We have 892 kips base share in X direction. In eTabs, we had 891 kips base reaction in spec X case. Similarly, we have 850 to kips base shear in Y direction in robot. In eTabs, we had 916 kips base shear, which is slightly more than robot. Now let's view modal time periods. Go to Display tab, then click on Deformed Shapes. Choose Mode 1 and press OK button. We have time period of 1.41 seconds in first mode. Now let's view time periods in robot. Right click on screen and click on tables. Select modal analysis results option. We can see 1.9 second is the time period of first mode, which is very close to eTabs. Now let's check the time period of second mode. One point to oh nine second is the time period of second mode. In robot, it is one point to five seconds. Now we will compare the story shear forces. Go to results tab, then stories. Now click on Reduced Forces tab. Now we will change the case to Seismic in X direction. In FX we have Story Shear Forces from 170 to 890 to KIPS. In E tabs we will open Structure Results. Then we will click on Story Forces. Now in loads, select spec X case. Now in locations, select bottom. We can see story shear forces from 167 to 891 kips. These values are very close to the values calculated in robot. Structural analysis. 
Now let's compare the result of seismic case in Y direction. We have base shear in FY from 170 to 850 to kips. In E tabs, we can view this value in spec Y case. We have VY from 170 for kips to 916 kips, which is close to the value. In robot. Now let's compare displacements in seismic Y case. We have 0.09 to 1.19 inch displacement in Y direction. In E tabs, click on displacements. Now click on Story Maximum Average Displacements. We will select Spec Y case. We can see average displacements from 0.8 inch to 1.1 inch, which is close to robot. Now let's see displacement in X direction. Change case to spec X. We can see maximum displacement from 0.1 inch to 1.16 inch. In robot, we will change case to X direction. We have displacement of 0.09 inch to 1.1 inch. Now let's compare the results of bending moment diagrams. Click on Results, then click on Diagrams for Bars. Check on MY Moments. Now we will change the view to 2D Frame View. Click on YZ View. Now we will view the grid I. This is the bending moment diagram of the frame. To view values on frame, click on Parameters. Now click on Labels and then click on Filled. We can view the bending moment diagram with labels of extreme values on frame. Now let's view bending moment diagrams in ETAB software. Click on Elevation button and then open Grid I. Now click on Display. Now click on Force Stress Diagrams. Click on Frame Forces. Now in Dead Load Case, we will click on Moment 33. Click on Show Values on Diagrams. Now we can see Bending Moment Diagram Values on Frame. We have 6 Kip Feet Moment in Bottom of First Beam. 15 kip feet moment in right and 4.9 kip feet moment in left. In robot, we have approximately same results. Now let's view the bending moment diagrams of both softwares side by side. We can see both softwares have similar type of results. Now let's compare the results of both softwares. These were the base reactions in all the load cases. In both softwares. In dead load self-weight case, we had a slight difference. In the remaining cases, we had same results in both softwares. Base shear in Y case had some difference. Similarly, we have a comparison of story forces in both directions. We can see there is not a significant difference in X direction forces. There is a small difference in Y direction forces. Now let's see maximum average displacement. We can see there is very small difference in the results of both softwares. We have compared all the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.